Hello, welcome back. Right, as you can see, I'm looking at the special golden golden issue, which is issue number 50 of Crash Magazine, which is the March 1988 issue. And this is one of the uh, the, the magazines that was very, very kindly sent to me by uh, Jeff Neal last week. Uh, Jeff, thank you ever so much. I'm... Uh, uh, really, really grateful for your generosity in sending these through to me. Now, Jeff does have a, a Spectrum channel I'll uh, link to below. He's tantalisingly just a few under uh, the magic 1,000 subscribers figure. So if a few of you could go over there and just bump him across the line, I'm sure he'd be grateful. Um, right, speaking of which, I've also just checked my subscriber count and I've just ticked past 1,500 subscribers, which, you know, for... A channel that features woefully inept gameplay, incessant babbling, and production values that would make Ed Wood look like Steven Spielberg, I'm really quite happy with. Now, I don't do it for, you know, tons and tons of scribe, uh, subscribers. I do it because it's a hobby. It, it, you know, it gives me something to do. It's something I enjoy doing. It gets me out of the way, particularly when the girls come home from college and school and they start on at each other. And my wife is downstairs watching Phantom of the Opera. I'm just going to get out of the way and do a Spectrum video. Um, so, yeah, thanks to every single one of you that um, makes up the 1500. Thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. And I really, really enjoy the interaction and the comments uh, and the discussions and the laughs as well, because we do have some laughs on there as well. And finally, um, from the title, you can see that I've created a second channel. Now, this is something that I've toyed with the um, idea of doing for a while, and I've decided to go ahead with it because I do like um, other sort of stuff, not just the Spectrum. Um, but I don't want to dilute the content of this channel, which is going to be the main channel. It's going to stay Spectrum-oriented. I hope there's not going to be any decrease in the output. I'm certainly not planning to. So I've decided that... Any bits and pieces I pick up for other systems or other systems that I co collect will um, be uploaded onto the second channel, which I will put a link in the description box to. And if you could subscribe to that, if you want to, that would be awfully nice of you. Anyway, let's get into issue number 50 of Crash. Um, yet again, another spectacular um, cover there. I mean, just look at that. It's brilliant. And they all the um, Oliver Frey uh, covers for Crash Magazine are brilliant. We've got an advert for top 10 computer games from Hit Pack. We've got some Gremlin adverts there. We've got the Index. Advert for Firefly. Um, brilliant, brilliant game from the late, great um, Joffa Smith. Uh, we see what reviews we've got. We've got adverts for Arkanoid Revenge of Doe. There is a feature on um, special effects who make the aforementioned um, Firefly on the previous page. And um, let's see, where's uh, Jonathan Smith is bottom right. So that's, uh, that's Joffa there. Uh, legend, absolute legend of uh, Spectrum uh, programming. Arkanoid Revenge of Doe. And we get into some reviews. We've got a review of the Spectrum version of Tetris from Mirasoft. Uh, they didn't seem to be particularly impressed with that. Now, again, as I say, as I go, whenever I do these magazine videos, any things that tickle your um, nostalgia gland, um, games you remember, etc., <coughs> please um, shout up with your thoughts and memories. And there is Firefly getting a crash smash. Let's see what uh, rate, overall rating it got. <coughs> got um, 92%, so it's really, really good. Hang on, just going to have a, a drink. Really scratchy cough that I've had for uh, ages. So best wishes to Crash for their 50th um, issue from all these uh, publishers. <sighs> Advert for leaderboard golf. Now I had that. I really enjoyed that. I do like golf games. Um, I just bought Mario Golf for the sixty N sixty four. I used to love playing Tiger Woods on the three hundred and sixty, especially um, online. ATF from Digital Integration. I had this game. I really enjoyed it, and um, Crash gave it a very very good um, eighty nine percent. Garfield's big fat hairy deal. Now. Garfield, um, the graphics in this are really 
look really really nice but um, I've never played it so again please um, shout up with your memories of the Garfield games uh, Tim Langdell uh, from the edge and what did it get overall bang on 90 the Krypton Factor oh excuse me now I own this on a uh, compilation I've played it once and I think you know yeah I think that's a generous store. I thought it was a pile of shit. Um, Packland advert. I've played that on the Spectrum. I wasn't too impressed with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Advert for Victory Road. Don't know that one at all. Review of PHM Pegasus from Electronic Arts. And... don't really know what kind of game that is. So if anyone can fill me in. Let me know. 79%, so not a bad score. North Star, a crash smash. Now, I have played and reviewed North Star a while ago, and I wasn't that particularly impressed with it. Now, um, it had some really good good touches. You know, the, the, the uh, graphics on it are really nice. But um, it was something that I actually found just a bit meh to play. Captain America in the Doom Tube of Dr. Megaloman. Right, yeah, that uh, trips off the tongue nicely. Uh, one sole screenshot of it and 36% score, so Crash did not like that one. Ooh, win radio controlled cars, for, uh, courtesy of Titus in a crazy cars giveaway. Hit pack um, collections from Elite. Uh, pretty decent um, collections there. Yeah, no sort of real stinkers amongst that lot that um, I could say. I mean, the first international karate is a bit ropey, but I don't think it's a particularly bad game. Lloyd Mangram's Forum. Oh, da 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 da. Used to love reading uh, the forum, etc. Uh, this is what I what drew my eye earlier when I had a flick through it. I claim the first person to complete Mike Singleton's Dark Scepter. Now, here's the thing: I have never played Lords of Midnight or Doom Dark's Revenge. I know Jeff is a a big uh, Lords of Midnight fan. I've just never got round to playing them. I think the only Spectrum game of Mike Singleton's I've played was Snake Pit, which was released by Poston. And there is a uh, video of it way back in the channel somewhere. I thought that was quite good. Never played Dark Scepter. Um, the only other game of his that I've seen in, um, in action was my friend had either an Amiga or ST. And he had the game Midwinter on it, and he raved about it. And I went around there read his house once and I was watching him play it and it did um, look fantastic so you know back in these days people could claim absolutely anything <laughs> you know I'm the first person to have completed it we, someone could have written in a month later saying well I completed it at 4.49 and that would have blown him out of the water right um, advert for Magnetron I loved Quasitron or is it Quasitron Quasar Quasar this comes up every now and then I always say Quasitron or do I? Yes, I do. Um, but I've never played this one. This, of course, was released by Firebird and not um, Houston Consultants. Playing tips. Do, do, do. Oh. Handicap, handicap. Do, do, do. Driller. I never got on too well with that game. Uh, advert to join the army. Uh reviewer versus um reader competition the crash challenge this one was um commando and it looks as if uh the reviewers lost um and who was the winner i don't know if you're uh, either of these people <laughs> Welcome to uh, the Crash Magazine. Welcome to 2018. Right, um, Jetman cartoon. That was always brilliant. It always made Jetman out to be um, a real thicko. Thicker than a whale omelette, as um, Prince George would have said in Blackadder the Third. Some technical bits. I never used to read the technical bits. Some stuff about... Early stuff about the Sam. 
um, which I might have a read of later. If anyone's got a Sam Coupe, let me know what they're like, because it never really took off, did it? But uh, I remember the, the sort of hype for it, etc. Capcom... Oh, Muscles Lundgren. If he dies, he dies. Yeah, no, that's not Masters of the Universe, but I don't know any quotes from any other films of his... Uh, educational stuff. Oh, uh, no one's interested in that. Um, mailbox for play-by-mail. Loading screens. Now look at the quality of those loading screens um, that people have created using uh, utilities. Adventure Trail. I never ever got into adventure games. I could never work them out. Same with war games. Never liked them. Fanzine. Um, uh, uh, special various adverts the hunt for red october gets 77 percent. that's a bit generous rolling thunder on the um spectrum 47 percent. now i always thought that was particularly quite a well-regarded um game on the specky i've never played it myself so clearly um i might be wrong now is that review accurate, or is it another example of um, errant uh, reviewing by magazines? Now, Platoon, absolute great game. I've still got this downstairs, my original, um, but it doesn't load anymore. The tape will get so far, and then no matter what I try, it will just go to our tape loading error. Now, Ocean did a few sort of licensed games that turned out to be really good that... To start with, you'd have thought, where well, are they going to make a game out of that? Like Platoon. Um, Untouchables is a fantastic game, apart from the warehouse level at the start. And also Taipan. I really, really enjoyed Taipan. Um, seemed to have an all... Probably the longest loading game I ever owned. It took forever to load. Mad Balls by Ocean. I don't know that game at all. Uh Obviously, didn't set the world on fire. Scumball from Bulldog. That one don't look too bad. 81%, so a decent review. Uh, roll around from Mastertronic. 61%, kind of isometric type thing there. Micro Ball from Alternative. 41%. Oh, they didn't like that, did they? Piggy from Bug Bite. That's blimey, look at that. That must be one of the lowest scores ever. What... Um, what is the lowest score of any review in Crash Magazine? There you go. There's a challenge for you. Um, that's the lowest I can. Th I think that I've found. LA SWAT and Merlin, they've actually got the pictures the wrong way around. If you have a look, that's LA SWAT. And that's Merlin. Um, silly Crash. 28% for LA SWAT. I think that's not even worth that. 40% for Merlin. Energy Warrior, I don't know, from Mad X. Uh, what did they give that? 45. BMX Kids from Firebird, don't know that. 69, that's not bad. Jet Bike Sim from Codemasters, 75%. Kickstart 2, oh, again, I always thought this was very well regarded, but 77% only. So, what's the Hotline Top 20 charts? Match Day 2, Renegade Exelon, some great games in there. Some absolutely great games in there. Not a stinker among that lot, really. In fact, there isn't. And the Adventure Top 20, but like I say, I'm not really an adventure uh, fan. Killed Until Dead. Oh, I remember that game. Uh, classified ads. Uh, let's see if there's any funnies in the classified ads. Uh, do do no, pen pals. Uh, no, it's all uh, people just seeking pen pals. Adverts for the ST. Previews of Super Sprint. Uh, du, du, du. What's that? Is that Cybernoid? Looks like it. What's that? Is Akari Warriors? Yep. And t -t Troll. Oh, I don't remember that one at all. 
Okay, well, there we are, really. That's the golden issue, issue number 50 of Crash. Once again, thank you very much, Jeff. Um, if you like the video, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But please, 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 if you do subscribe, make sure you take the time to join in the uh, discussion, etc. That's what it's all about. There will be more uh, magazine videos coming. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.